Hey everyone, it's PJD here and today I'm going to be talking to you about this solid shampoo bar from Lush and the reason why I'm showing you this today is because I want to drive home a point uh, about ingredients. Even though you're in a store that may talk about natural this, natural that, um, it doesn't mean that everything on the ingredients list will be pleasing to you. I remember I was in a health food store once and I, you know, you feel you're in a health food store so everything should be good, right? And I happened to look at the ingredients listed on the package and I, I promise you the sodium was out of this world. It's like they wanted a person to go into immediate cardiac arrest or at the very least get cankles because you're retaining so much water that your ankles would be that big. So, right. So that taught me read the labels. So anyway, I'm in Lush. You know, they're talking about, oh, this is organic. This is natural, all that stuff. So I got this shampoo bar. I had actually gotten this for free from them. It's supposed to moisturize your hair and it has shea butter in here and everything. So I used it. Let's say I use this no more than 10 times already so you know hey it left my hair moisturized it was nice i like this product uh, and it cost like 9.95 and they told me i should be able to get 80 to 90 washes from this but um i used it let's say no more than 10 times already and this is what it looks like now and this is an original size so it's, it's gone down i mean it's not teeny but it's, it's definitely gone down from the original size so i definitely won't be getting 90 washes from this but Anyway, you'll get enough. Plus, I'm heavy-handed too, so perhaps 80 to 90 will work out for someone else. Anyway, the point of this post is not just to say that this works. It works. Yes, I like this. But to talk to you about ingredients, because after I realized how much I like this shampoo bar, I said, well, let me get some more... Um, Sorry, this is so bright. So let me get some more shampoo bars. And this one is the Trichomania shampoo bar from Lush. And it's described as a coconut cream pie um, that moisturizes your hairs for dry and curly hair. And I said, okay. So I started to read the reviews because I wanted to know if it would really be as um, moisturizing as they claim it is. So I, I started looking at reviews and I saw, let me just bring up the picture. There was a, a woman on here. Can you see her? hair see all those coils a natural and she gave a great review she was basically saying how she had relaxed hair at one point but then she um decided to get rid of the chemicals now she's natural and could not find any product that would really enhance her curls and bring out the shine in her hair and then she found this trichomania and it worked and great so i was all gung-ho i said i'm gonna purchase this particular shampoo bar it's fabulous. It must be because, you know, everyone's raving about it. Plus, this woman with very coily hair loves it. Great. Mm-hmm. I looked at the ingredients list. And what was there? SLS. Sodium Laurel Sulfate. Now, you would think in a store that's talking about healthy stuff, good ingredients, that they would not have SLS. But they do. So, check your labels. I definitely won't be buying that. So, um, SLS is something that you can find in your common body wash. And though it may not be too harsh for your skin and it'll really clean your body... Uh, it's too harsh for your hair. Or at least it's too harsh for my hair. Once I remove SLS from my any products that I was using on my hair, my hair immediately started doing better once I got rid of all SLS, right? And then the other thing with SLS is that after researchers have... Uh, tested it and done certain things they found links to uh, cancer with SLS in certain areas which is why they came out actually with sodium uh, laureth sulfate so some people say oh this is not the laurel with the l at the end this is um laureth yeah same thing in a sense the only thing is that they've kind of removed the chemical compounds within SLS that would make it um, or, or that could easily be tied back to cancer. So it's supposed to be the safer form, but you know, by this much. So, okay, take that as you want. So I don't want any SLL of in, SLS in any form with a sodium laurel sulfate, sodium laureth sulfate, no thanks. So I decided, oh, since I got this for free, I never did check the ingredients on this. So I went to look at the Godiva bar and I found that it has sodium cocoa sulfate. So I said, okay, really? Now the thing with that is, and so many debates over this, first of all, sodium um, cocoa sulfate is derived from coconuts. Right. So you figure, oh, terrific, all natural, great, right? Well, see, the sodium part still makes you think it's it's not all natural, right? And, it, and it's not. It is less harmful than SLS in either of its forms, but it's still not 
uh, chemical free. It has when you break down the the real chemical compound of um, SCS, it's so similar to SLS. Except yes, because it's derived from coconuts and it has the fatty acids in it and all that. It does not have um, those links to cancer. But then again, some researchers say they have not. It hasn't gone through the ringer like the SLS has. So maybe you would find some links. Who knows? But anyway, um, chemically speaking, um, you're you're not gonna get. I thought this foamed well, and I'll show you in another footage, another piece of footage that I taped. But I think it foams well, but they're saying that this cocoa sodium, cocoa sulfate, will not foam as well as um, SLS because uh, the compounds are not identical, and it's supposed to be less um, uh, dangerous of a chemical. But you know what? I, I won't be getting this again just because, let me just stay away from the SCS, the SLS, even though I know this one comes from cocoa, uh, coconuts, but... Still, anyway, the ingredients of this product, jasmine, macadamia nut oil, um, these shiny pieces, shea butter. It has uh, some really other good things, long list. Um, so that's it. And now you'll, I'll flip to the footage. I think I was showing you guys this when I was putting it on my hair. So enjoy the rest of the video. Any questions that you have for me, do ask and always check labels. That's my little netbook. So tiny, so cute. I love it. All right. Yes, I'm relaxing today. Okay, bye everybody. Hey everybody. Okay, I just put a little water in my hair. Of course, it, most of it is still dry. I didn't go in the shower yet. I didn't wash it. I just wanted you to see, like, okay, maybe that's not too helpful. But if you can get any idea, it's not that the slip is crazy after using this soap, but it's good enough for me to feel confident enough to run a comb through it if I needed to do that. So, yeah. I like this soap. I'm going to do another video just to talk more about the soap and tell you about the ingredients in it. Alright, so I'll talk to you later. And, and this makes my hair soft, at least the first time I used it. Alright, talk to you later.